Johan throws. That is complete. This is the play to Greg Smullins. Around the corner, down the sidelines. Touchdown. We're joined now by Warrior quarterback Colt Brennan, who had a great night last night. 425 yards, six touchdowns. Now, Colt, for all the numbers that you guys put up, after hearing what you guys were saying after the game, it didn't sound like you guys were completely satisfied with the way you guys played. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't think you can, you know, ever be satisfied. You know, you can always strive for improvement, perfection, and um, just looking at what happened early on um, with the turnovers we got and the defensive play we got. You know, we need to capitalize more as an offense, and we got to be able to go down there and score more points. And um, you know, and, and then you know, as it, as the game went on, though, we did a lot of good things, and, and we ended up having a great game. But um, I think we want to get better every week, and um, obviously, we saw some mistakes that we could correct. At the same time, you guys dominated this team. I mean, it was a 30-some-odd some point win, um, and especially coming off a bye week like that, uh, it, still pretty pretty decent uh, performance last night. Oh, yeah, no doubt, you know, and um, this New Mexico State team was a lot better this year than they were last year, and obviously they're, they're making a lot of improvements, um, you know, and, and they were in that game, you know, they were only down by, you know, they have the ability to score points fast, they were down by 23 in the fourth quarter and, and driving, you know, and consistently driving until Chase got hurt and was taken out of the game. So, I mean, you know, it, it was a, a tough game, but, you know, I think we made a lot of strides of, you know, going back to that team. Everybody kind of feels like they, they remember, and, and and we just dominated, and, and that's how we are when we're at home. And I, I only played four quarters before that game at home this year, so it felt great to be, be, be out there. Now, we're watching this game, and it didn't make any sense. They're only rushing three guys, and they keep dropping back. They didn't put much pressure on you. How did that kind of play into uh, an advantage for you? Well, I mean, they did a lot of different things. I think they blitzed a lot, which people didn't see. Um, because we got the ball out so fast when they did blitz. Um, they brought some backside pressure. They, they guessed well on the runs. Um, but, you know, basically their, their mentality most of the game was to man up. Even when they were dropping guys off, what they did was they would man up underneath and then drop guys, rats, into coverage. And, um, you know, I have one of the, I have the best receiving core in the nation, hands down. And when you man up on those guys, it's just like, you know, taking candy from a baby. And obviously you watch Ryan and Devon make plays all night. And it was awesome, and especially the outside guys. Guys too. Can you talk about, about the comfortability between you, uh, between this receiving core and yourself? I mean, every week it's somebody else that's stepping up and making big plays and, and putting up big numbers. Yeah, I mean, basically we, um, you know, we, we knew how talented we we were coming into the season, and um, you know. I, I've kind of had some tough, you know, a tough little, you know, run where, you know, battling an ankle injury and trying to get back in the rhythm. Um, but I think this past game, we really felt like we kind of got back into stride and made some improvements. And, um, you know, as a, as a unit, you know, every game we're getting that much better and that much more confident. And, and hopefully, you know, as it goes, every week we play a little bit better as the opponents get a little bit better. Colt, six touchdowns last night. And I know you don't like to talk about yourself. You don't like to talk about numbers and records. But at the same time, you're now two away from tying tied down for the all-time career touchdowns. I mean, when you think about this, I mean, it, it's kind of mind-boggling in a sense, isn't it? No, yeah, I mean, it's it's been an unbelievable ride, a great career, and um, obviously um, there's a tremendous opportunity ahead of me, and uh, it really, you know, it'd be great to break the record and everything like that, but, you know, I think my eyes are set on, on, on finish the season undefeated, and, um, you know, obviously if we do that, then chances are I'll probably break that record, but let's just keep focusing on winning. Chances are you break the, the record next game, but uh, do you want this thing, especially uh, maybe even for June? You know, you always want, you know, to leave a mark, and, and, and to be remembered and, and obviously the, these types of things help you be remembered and, and you know leave your mark of, of your career and what you did while you were here and um, I think it would be a great testament to Coach Jones and what he's done while he's been here um, but really honestly I think it's just been three years of um, me being surrounded by a tremendous you know system and then supported by an unbelievable cast of, of teammates and my receivers Devon and Ryan from their first year and, and then the O-line the development there it's just been such a a blessing for me and so um, remarkable I was you know put in this situation two high caliber air attacks last night going head to head how much of a statement did you guys make um, I think we made a great statement last night I think we did a lot of good things and um, you know I think Boise and and everybody out there is starting to realize that God they were traveling a lot at the end of the year now they're not traveling they're at home now and uh, they get to finish up at home and with that said there's a lot of confidence building up and instead of you know, the mentality of not messing up, which I think has been our mentality throughout the year so far. Um, we're about ready to put it full throttle and go have some fun. And that's what these next four games represent for us.
Still to come, we're not done with Hawaii's Heisman candidate. Colt will give us his take on UH's place in the BCS standings and what he sees as Hawaii's greatest challenges yet to come.